Okay, Luke, you need a vehicle. I have to make sure. I'm, I'm, okay, for the last round, I, I initially said, oh, we should use the keys, and then I was like, no, cutting the brass here would be more efficient. You weren't listening. Go back over there. Yeah, I wasn't. I just had to make sure. That's what I said. I'm not saying much because you guys can have a pretty good plan going by our team, which is really like about everything we're doing. And I'm just making sure we're all on the same page. Okay. I'll cut your team. What are you doing? I want to oh cut a cable. Yeah, the one to the brazier that's being knife. activated, to be precise. Use the pocket knife to cut the cable of the lit brazier. Yes. Understood. Student, what are you doing? Jingling the keys in front of the lecturer's face. Uh, I understand. All this League of Legends gameplay you've been doing, great job on support. Pupil, what, what are you doing? You are really good support. Going to start right pulling the lecturer back. Thank. Good to oh, okay. the cable. Yeah. 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 I'm I'm sure you play you play something like Jana. Uh, Leona, thank you. Understood. Yeah, yeah, Leona. Yes. Travelers. The next round of combat goes as follows. The delinquent sees a brazier light up with blue fire. He won't be taking another one of those anytime soon. He pulls out his pocket knife, flips the blade out, and runs to the cables and slices through in a quick hard motion one of the cables is hot is cut but the heat explodes out of it and the pocket knife is bent melted destroyed the brazier that was charging an attack is extinguished The student takes out the keys, uh, the keys to the old schoolhouse, and she shakes them in front of the lecturer's face, hoping the noise, the shininess, will bring him some level of consciousness. And it works. The lecturer shakes and opens his eyes. What? What? He doesn't. He doesn't know where he is. Oh. No, no, he remembers. But why are they helping him? He's so close now. He cannot move except for his head. The cable pulls him closer. Help, the lecturer says. Help me do something. The... My bag has so many items in it. Please do something. The pupil runs to the lecturer, takes hold of the old man, and tries to pull him back, or at least stop him from getting pulled closer. The pupil is not enough. He is but one boy. He has not the strength to counter the cable. The lecturer is pulled closer to the bronze mech. He is one step away. And a blue brazier lights up, charging an attack. 
the next round begins. Oh. Alright, there's we a need to check his bag. Solution. We need to, the we need to hmm. find that, some way to stop the grappling hook from pulling him. Technically, we could combine our efforts. Can we just pull? Away. That's one option. The, the other option is to throw keys at the Brazier and hope the electricity has the keys. <laughs> the other option is to buy one. We could buy one turn with AI of string. That, that's been done before. With AI of string, I wrote his life. That could be used for it. Buy one round, but I don't know if we can delay the if what we can delay if the brassier from firing at us. We all pull if all of us together gets incapacitated. The brazier attack. No, because it's pretty unfortunate. We need the all three of us to push it over. Adjusted. Mm. Right, so. Previous He's adjusted. one step away, so we have to delay him. We can't push a brassier over. Yes, overdated. we have to pull. We have to try. Or we can use the yo-yo string. I think the yo-yo string is right the best option, because then we still have one person free. Yeah, but no matter what we're doing, we're gonna end up with two people. Because the brazier's gonna stun one of us. Oh, yeah, sure. Well, let's just take a look. Let's um, take a look. Let's 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 take uh, we... If we only have one turn left, what does an incapacitation mean? Yeah, this is a shiny fishing We're just gonna have to all pull. Shiny um, I think, yeah, actually, if we all pull, it'll put him back one to two steps. And then we... Yeah. They yes. hit by the brassier, we keep pulling. And then we, we have to pulling. use the yo-yo string so they, you know, come... <laughs> so, so that we... They, um... We delay we another pull, turn. And, and then hopefully the brassier will be extinguished by then and we can all pull. Oh, but if that doesn't work, we gotta think of other things we might be able to do. <laughs> no, if that doesn't work, then we're just done. First, we need to... Can two people right. pull the lecturer, yeah, or do we need all three? I heard, yeah. I think we need all three. I mean, it's going to buy us a turn anyway, so... Code word, friendship. Is that what I Activated. heard? Activate it. Yes. Yes. We're all gonna pull. Team attack. Very well. Mm -hmm. The delinquent, the student, and the pupil come together and they take hold of the lecturer, careful not to touch the cables, and they pull, they pull with all their might. The lecturer himself tries, his body doesn't let him. But the combined strength and willpower of the three students is enough to pull the lecturer back against the cable, gaining one step of distance. The lecturer is two steps from the bronze mech. And a blue flame launches an attack. It strikes the delinquent. He is unconscious for the next round. One of two remaining Vraziers charges another attack. And the steel cable continues to pull. Student, pupil, what do you do? Oh shit, uh. What can right, I do? I think yeah. I need to use the yoga stream. <laughs> yeah, let's get the. Um. With the, with the pupil. Alright, so we'll use the yo-yo string together. But what about the wire within the brazier? We can't do anything about that. Why? Not that we know of. We're just gonna happen. have to keep delaying until we Let's come up with something. Let's get the from the one we had mm. previously. Unless Remember the teaser crystal does something. Friends. Remember yeah, the okay. clues. Yeah, okay, so that's the clue. Oh, no. Didn't Wait, the lecturer say he had a bag? Second. What was in the bag? No, he had a bag! Yeah. What's in the bag? Yes, yes. Do you know what's in the bag? No, we don't. We'd have to look into it. I mean, I guess we can. Are we able to look bag? You can Our best bet is to take this turn. Inventory with one character using one round, and you'll see all his items. 
Okay. Is it worth it? One of us needs to do that, and I guess one of us uses the yo-yo? Or do we need two people for the yo-yo? No, the yo-yo is a two-man job, unfortunately. Um, okay, I have an idea then. So, pupil, you're the pupil, right? Yes. You investigate the book. We, um... The bag. <laughs> we... Yeah, you investigate the bag, and we will, like, stand in front of the brazier to absorb the attack, because if they, it seems like Trey is rolling for who gets hit, and we need you guys to still be conscious so the yo-yo string can be used when the delinquent wakes up. Alright. Sounds like a good plan. Okay, okay, that's a plan. That sounds like a plan. <laughs> we are, <laughs> we are sacrificing ourselves to the brazier this round, basically. Yeah. Student, what are you doing? We're going to stand in front of the brazier. <laughs> we're gonna, we're gonna try to take the hit for the uh, people. <laughs> Just interesting. What are you doing? I love him when he says interesting. We are investigating the lecturer's it's bag. It's the whole thing. When did you get here? So be it. It's interesting. Friends, it's travelers, the next round begins, and this is what happens. Uh, it might be a monkey's paw situation. The student runs to the lit brazier and jumps, waving her arms, trying to get into the way of the attack. And the attack comes, and it strikes her, and she loses consciousness from the hit. Just as the delinquent begins to wake up. That was close. Who knows what happens if you get struck twice in a row. The pupil runs to the lecturer's side oh, no. and opens his bag and he sees a plethora of items which are as follows. A pair of sturdy brown gloves. Oh. A map. <laughs> some orange flowers. A shiny green beetle. An ether crystal. The academy keys. A hammer and chisel. And some medicine. Can you use the hammer and chisel you for now like... all have access to these items on the next round. But the lecturer is pulled one step closer, and the brazier lights its next attack for the next round. My friends. Uh, uh, no. Yeah, I think your time be. begins now. <laughs> might be a little. Okay. I mean, uh, like, hmm. We'll try the yo yo string. That's it. That's all you can do. <laughs> and that requires two people. Just throw the ether crystal into yes. the pocket. I mean, who knows if that does anything? Like, that's all awesome. oh, If we use, if it doesn't if we use work. a ham. We're not getting anywhere. Wait. Yeah, if we use a hammer. Can we use a hammer and chisel to, the 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 to, to break the last to score? To do friendship, all right? um, does the brazier go off before what we do? Or does it go off after? Oh, yeah, he's too close. What happens if we run out of footsteps? Does that mean it's game over? Yeah, we should have been in there. I think we should be targeting the grappling roll. Trajan. Does the braziers go off before or after what we do? But we Mm. Afterward, Lucian. Can we try okay, so you guys can you guys can, can pull them back an extra step, <laughs> and then and then tank a and then tank a hit. They can pull them back another step for the yo-yo string, right? I don't know if you know who happens if you get hit twice. One of us dies in a row. Yeah, we get round two. The student is currently unconscious. She needs to use your yo-yo string. She has been hit once. Shoot, shoot, yeah, just shoot, throw the shoot, 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 shoot,
Well, okay, I'm going to the bathroom. We bathroom. need to hope that we get a Brazilian yeah, 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 We're not going to yeah. point out to like, we maybe, might be From there, we can, we, we'll have, we'll have at least two turns to be able to work with what we've got in this bag. Okay, if we got two turns, if we use the yo-yo string, then we could probably push over the brazier and tug. What are you doing? No, because all of us would be unconscious! Uh, 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 we're gonna use the. Uh, uh, um, I'd be able to use something in the bag. Up. The the I think with the, the pillow. No, I don't think there's anything in the bag we can use. I don't know. I'm asking you first. What about the beetle? Uh, if you both want, I don't think we can use the beetle for anything. Yeah, but the beetle is shiny. Yeah, but the beetle is shiny. Yeah, but maybe like it might out. reflect something, like a mural. Then the uh, second option is we take the no, gloves. No, we messed up. Uh, we probably should just level up what we had done before. Pull water with the, the lecture away. Just, just, you know, pull the lecture away. Great, great, great. We just yank on him. Just like yeah, third one we should just... I don't know. This is my board. first we'll time. You guys clearly know more than me. The delinquent is attempting to coordinate with you. Using a yo yo string to slow yes. the yes. lecturer's yes. progression. Yes. You would like to do that, yes. I broke my foot. Okay, it sounds like we're using a string. <laughs> yeah, I'm just thinking about getting ri rid of the, of the grappling hook rope. I mean, both of them are the thing. But, yeah. Travelers, listen carefully. The next round goes as follows. <laughs> The delinquent and the pupil come together. The pupil takes out his yo-yo string. And together they wrap it around the lecturer's legs, tight, so he can't move very far. And it works. Briefly, it works long enough to stop the lecturer's approach but the bronze mech's control is strong and the string snaps shortly after, destroying the yo-yo. The lecturer remains at one step, and the blue brazier unleashes its attack. The electricity makes its way toward the delinquent. You, delinquent, are unconscious for the next round, like and the student bad. is waking up. Okay. Yeah, we're just trading place at this point. <laughs> yes. Yeah, it feels like yeah, we, the we can't do anything. What are you doing for the next round? We, Student and pupil decide. But, we can't do anything. All right, what are we doing? We, we don't know. Um, we're gonna try chiseling the grapple or something. Or something. Uh, try to use the ether. Can, can, can we? Can we like use the chisel on the on the on the grapple? Can we use anything on the grappling hook? Oh, maybe maybe if you use the gloves, the right? With one of you, equip the equip the gloves. Maybe two of you would be enough the, to pull him one step away. If you got the gloves and the grapple, you might be able to oh. pry it off. Of <laughs> the gloves. That's, that's, that's far fast. I'm just saying. You know. What? If, if, what if we need to do something for him to not get closer? Put them on and use the chisel to try and. But maybe hammer and chisel can be used on the control part. I'm confused on the brazier is having extinguished yet. Um, might not work because the grappling hook requires three people. Like, they extinguished really mm. fast last time. No, 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 Have we ever destroyed the control panel? To, like, to snap the line. Uh, not sure. Have yes. we the first? Hold up. I'm gonna be right back. Three of us to push our brazier onto it. And I guess the hammer and chisel is really our only option to get in there, I guess. We, yeah, we, we, we put on the gloves. Yeah, put on I the say we try safety, something. And then we use the hammer and chisel. I guess we could do that, but that's two items. That's two yeah, options. Yeah, because they'll get the hammer and chisel, and they'll, two and they'll get the gloves. Two items. There's two people. And do you think I mean, chiseling yeah, we, the, uh, the panel we, we keeps them from panel. getting closer? We're, we're, we're trying to break it, right? What if we try well, breaking it? it? The We're trying to break the grappling line. 
the cable that the grapple yeah, hook is the on. Yeah, but the hammer. Hammering and chiseling the thing. It's not, I don't think it's just VR chat. That's what that's thing? Being weird. Maybe. The, the grappling. Because every time I try to. Oh, right? the grappling rope like is grappling. really strong. It's, it's not like just a rope because we already tried like pushing like, a, like the brazier over it. Yeah, we tried pushing brazier over it. Trouble. And it like remained intact completely. Your time is up. Mm. Hey. Student. What are you attempting? <laughs> like destroying the control panel then. No, right. we can't do it. Um, let's see. Ah, uh, student. <laughs> you guys are no help. Wow. Okay. You were the ones coming up the plane. Time. I was in the bathroom. Jesus. Okay. Wow. Okay, we're getting the hammer and chisel, and we're gonna try hammer and chiseling the uh, control panel. Don't be like this. I thought we were going to get like the grapple, like the net with the hammer and chisel, and we were going to have the person who did that use the gloves. Because we already that, know that. The other not person was. Fuck was... <laughs> <laughs> okay, it, let's go for the control. Hammer and chisel on the control panel. Yep. I guess. I guess maybe we should just put this one. We are conscious. Uh, you sure we can do some really great people as well? I don't think so. You will assist. We don't necessarily have to break the grapple, but if you can pry it loose with the hammer, it would be embarrassing. A friendly reminder the lecturer is one step away. After this shit, I'm going straight to bed. Hold up. Do we have anything to slow down the lecturer at all or no? I don't know of. I mean, like, the only way I could think of is Unless using the hammer and chisel. The... the only thing I could think of is using the hammer and chisel to bolt the lecturer to the ground, but that's very painful. And I'd rather <laughs> avoid that. Yeah, but how would that... No. Uh, okay. If you want to kill you just it, take the chisel into the foot and you hammer it down. Yeah. Yes, that's uh, what I'm saying. Yeah. yeah. Oh my god. I've got to avoid that. Take the chisel um, you could loop it into the back of his boot and knock it in, I guess. Wait, what if we... Can we do that? Hmm, what? Steel cable is coming from the palm of the bronze mech. Yeah. I don't think that's something we can do. Um. What if we give the mech a high five? Mm. Ah, then he has to if we raise our hand for a high five, he's gotta move his hand. Well, the mm. pupil's action. Is to assist the student, is this correct? Yes. Yes. Well. It's, it's not. <laughs> yeah, we lost. The whole time. Good job, guys. Unless the yeah, strange man so in the corner badly. saves us because he wants us to win <laughs> for whatever reason. Oh, I'm like, scared no. of the of this bad ending. I don't know. I think you should just accept. We should have went for the break. We should have done what and we did. Whenever when... we don't lose. No, you. We should have done what we did to win last time. No, you. The good ending is recorded already, anyway. Yeah, but. Travelers, please open your settings and turn the music <laughs> volume to zero. Yeah. <clears throat> Despite oh, all the efforts of the students. Despite the willpower of the lecturer, despite everything that happened in the past 30 years and beyond, the student and the pupil fail. They all fail. Against his will, the lecturer is pulled into the bronze mech, forced to sit on his son's desiccated corpse, which crunches beneath him. He is horrified as the hatch slams shut.
Finally, we reunite. Now, old man, give me what is rightfully mine. You do not even realize the power you wield, do you? Did you ever notice it? The feeling that you have been here before? The feeling you have done something again and again? Knowing things you didn't know you knew? Did you dismiss it as mere coincidence? Well, it matters not. The power of our ancestors is back in my hands. The lecturer hears the voice filling his mind, pushing again against the inside of his skull. He feels nothing. He sees nothing. He looks at... the man standing in the corner of the room. And the narrative is manipulated. All three students are working together, pulling on the lecturer with all their combined might before he's pulled into the machine. The bronze mech is so strong, but the students, the students persevere. There's a sudden noise as the cable loses its grip and comes loose, whipping across the room. All four of them no. topple away from the bronze mech. No! I will not be stopped by three children and an old man. I will not. The lecturer is helped to his feet by his students, his friends, and he stands defiantly against the huge machine. I was ready to exchange myself for my own son. The lecturer feels the support of those around him. But I see it now. The feeling you described. This has happened before. This power. You. Bronze monstrosity. Your portal is closing on you, Abel. What? Nonsense. I have planned everything out. I have enough time. Wait. No. What? What did you do? Why is it closing now? What did you do? The bronze mech grinds and shifts as it stands tall, scraping the ceiling with its protrusions. Using the last of its energy reserves, it lunges forward, using boosters to rocket across the room, leaping over them all and rushing to the portal across the hall. The students watch in fear. The lecturer watches with a smile, for he knows what is about to happen. The bronze maker gets halfway through the portal before it snaps shut on it.
there's a pause in reality, a visual vacuum, a rippling of the air, an explosion of sound and debris as the back half of the bronze mech is obliterated. The lecturer captures a glimpse of a dark shadow being sucked into the last vanishing point of the portal before it closes. They all breathe a sigh of relief, except the lecturer. No, we must get out now, he says. And a moment later, everything shudders, and the structure begins to shake. Aware of the huge amount of earth above them, they all rush to the exit elevator, my friends. Make haste. Oh. Uh, no, this means we have to run into us. The actual showman just hustled. <laughs> he just auto loaded a save. He cheated us to the good ending. Of <laughs> Travelers, turn on the world music, please. And change the playing song to whereabouts of a feeling halfway down that's whereabouts of a feeling The four of them rush outside, turning in time to see the old schoolhouse collapse in on itself. They all take cover from the shockwave of dust. And once the rubble settles, the lecturer stands to inspect the damage. Now, oh, there it goes. There it all goes. Thirty years of waiting. Thirty years of wanting nothing but to see his son again. Thirty years of torment. Finally, come to a close. His son, his boy, the bronze mechs remains, the old ruins all lost deep below the earth. The blood moon has shifted out of position. The threat is gone. He turns to the students. I am so very sorry. I was blind. I wanted my son back so desperately. 
but none of you deserve to die for that. I have done a most monstrous thing. He begins to weep and closes his eyes. I promised. I promised I would make things right. But I failed him. I couldn't keep my promise. And now he's not here anymore. I am unworthy of forgiveness. There comes no reply. Until he feels a pair of arms embrace him. And then another. And then another. And memories of his son drift into his mind. He can picture so clearly their first time he and his wife met the child at the orphanage. So shy, so precious. He remembers his first birthday. Nine years old. Spent for the first time with a family that loves him so dearly. All the time the lecturer spent at the hospital comforting his ill wife and his son. And then, not a month later, it was just he and his son comforting one another. He pictures his son's first day at the academy, first as a student there, then as his assistant, and ultimately as his only friend. The lecturer is scared. He's terrified of letting the memories go. He tries, he tries to hold on to them. He tries to maintain control. He doesn't want anything to change. And then he... Something changes inside of him. He realizes that... This is his path. He draws in a deep breath, shaking, and as he lets it out, tears come with it. And here is where they stand, sharing in their bittersweet victory. After a long while, the lecturer speaks. I think I'm done with teaching, he says, wiping tears away. 
the student asked what he will do instead. Well, says the lecturer, I have always had an interest in archaeology. Travelers, friends, my good friends, please allow me to congratulate you on your victory tonight. You have reached the good ending of the lecture. Well done, Pure skill. everyone. And thank you so much for your time. Nothing. Literally. I'm glad we all pulled together and did absolutely nothing wrong. My friends. Yeah. As some of you know, and some of you don't, but you're about to, we cycle our tours. This tour, the lecturer once replaced the archaeologist, and soon this tour will be replaced by redacted members of our Patreon will have a chance to attend the exclusive premiere of this tour, which, if everything goes according to plan, will launch this month. After the premiere, the tour will enter the bi-weekly cycle, and you all will get to see what other tales await you. My friends, Yay. I am putting you back in the care of the main tour guide, Sheen. Well, friends, please, once again, put your hands together for the one and only Trey Gem. I don't understand the twist Talk at the end, about but I fucking love it. Party. <laughs> My friends, a few announcements. How? Congratulations on this ending of the lecture. Well done. Once again, for the few newcomers that are here, we are VR travelers. We create immersive, story-based tours with original writing, beautiful worlds, and wholesome team effort. We do this for fun. We do this for free. However, we do ask one thing in return. Please join our growing Discord community and post the photos and or comments from today's tour there. In our Discord, you can discuss the alternate endings to our tours, the secrets of our headquarters, and other mysteries. The Discord ID is my status in VR chat. Finally, if you really enjoy the work our team puts into this and want to help us write more stories and create more beautiful worlds, please support us on Patreon. Our Patreon is only $3 per month, and joining grants you access to the clues of all our mysteries, behind-the-scenes features, eligibility to play character roles in our tours, such as the campus security from tonight. It also grants you access to a private Discord channel. And one wonderful perk that is getting closer and closer to completion is the community writing project called the CWT, or Community Written Tour. 
It is a project where this community is creating a tour with everyone's combined efforts. If you want to know more, please feel free to ask one of the lead writers in our community, such as Yulyush over here. This handsome mortal to my side. There is also Lucian. Ah, yes, another lead writer. Friends, let us know if you're interested. Well then, I will drop a portal back to the rendezvous for the after party in a few minutes. For now, the floor is yours. Uh. Applebee's. Okay. Protagonist. Oh, no. oh, oh, why you people ask so many questions when we had a completely uneventful night? But um, because oh, we weren't supposed no, to get this be quiet. ending. We yeah, should quiet. No be quiet. No. Or just I don't know what you're talking removed. about. Be quiet. Who the fuck is the man in the corner of the room? Yeah, I think we all want to That's know the that. question. What are you talking yeah, about? You didn't hear how many times he called me. I think you pulled it. I don't Unless really get it. it. Like, I don't know what you're talking about. Is the man in the corner of the room his son? Dead son, I'm just, I'm just thing. sitting over here bewildered. This is my very what first time attending one of a these. Good ending, if it is I'm not. I'm just amazed earned. at how well this was all done and put together. Quiet rat. Definitely Stop. gonna attend more. I want to hear this. Uh, he was going to is... tell the bad ending, right? He just stopped yeah. in the middle of it. For it's like, different storylines, like though. Fifteen seconds straight, and he just said. I'm oh, I'm sure. I just had no idea what the hell I was getting myself into when you first invited me here. But then I was. I literally planned on going to bed like two and a half hours ago, but I was just too engrossed to, in what was going on to go to bed. I really wanted to see how it ended. Yeah. yeah. Very, very well done with the voices, Trajan. Honestly, just very, very well done. I think that's what we're going to try. He physically interacts with the selector. The biggest thing for me was just the ever so slight change in the voice. You could just very clearly see that. Oh, beautiful. Just, just great. Yeah, honestly. It's just off. And the loops. Yeah, the looping, it's like... And the mystery's like done so well, you still got people over there theorizing like crazy. That That's that's how you know you did a good job. But we've been theorizing on stuff since... Dude, what is the, this is what we've been like, doing the whole time. I'm sure. It's great. I'm glad like, I just you. found the communi this community on a whim. I'm really glad I did. Now yeah, that's I'm awesome. Get more, Focus on more, more, more budgeted. Mm. Yeah, listen to the like a year. This, this considering it's been like a year since I've played this game, and I just got back into it like last yeah, week. I mean, Jesus Christ! I, this is the second group I've gotten into since then. <laughs> yes, I was catching him up on the updates and going ones of your chat. Or maybe. Maybe he's like a lot of Jesus Christ. The game has changed, but I'm glad to see groups like this cropping back up again. Whenever they get rid of this one, error. Trade gem. Whatever replaces it, he'll like trade gem for like. He'll still be a character in that, like just. Yeah. Because these kind of things existed back in the beginning. He was referenced in the rendezvous. The narrative yeah, is manifold. Has not been lifted. I cannot open a portal. Your permission to bypass the, uh, security. Somehow, like the organization of it all is just amazing. Even of the other one you got me into. And the random... Well, the other one I got you into is still somewhat new. We started in October, so there's still a oh, lot of stuff to go to. Oh, I'm sure, but I'm... I'm... 
Even still, I'm still around the mission, I guess. Your earliest convenience. Have fun. Nah, I'm gonna go show and go to bed. My friends, Have fun. Oh, you're going to bed? To the rendezvous I'll be in the after party for a little bit just to chat yeah. while people Your are there. Your questions yeah. are welcome there. I'm gonna go to bed. Hi guys. Yeah, you're gonna go to bed. Same as I do. Bye, Jake. I hope to see you correctly. next Saturday. Thank you.